In today's video, I want to show you this GitHub Terminal Simulator, which is also an interactive tutorial, which I've built fully with Bolter DIY plus uh, Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 3.7. So let's take a look at the application. So we have here a terminal. We got some promotion for my channel here. On the right side, we have different tutorials you can go through to learn Git. And it shows here on the bottom your progress as well. So what you can do now is go to Git Basics 1, local workflow, go in and read the instructions. The first one is Git init. So let's go to the terminal. We have also uh, autocomplete here. Let's go in, press enter and now it marked it as done, the first step. So we can go over to step two, with, which is git status. Yeah, and that, that is how it works. So you can go through all steps here and learn how git works and it will mark it as soon as it is done. Okay, let's go back to all tutorials. At the end, there is a step-by-step -step guide for Bolter DIY, which I added. So we could clone here um, the Bolt repository and it will simulate uh, the cloning. Then we would go to the Bolter DIY directory. So just go into the cloned folder. We can list all available branches. So uh, sometimes you need to change the branch which is shown here. Let's go check out stable. Now you are on the stable branch. You can verify this with get status as well. As you can see, um, you can show the logs with git log and so on. So just try it yourself and it is deployed. And yeah, let me know what you think about this and we can go here to command reference as well. So you we have an overview about most um, Git comments, uh, commands. You can quickly take a look what they do with some information, you can filter them and you have a repository view here as well. So this is all simulated. So it's not showing an action in a Git repository. So it's just for learning. Yeah, it's just a draft. I did this in about an hour, just as showcase um, that Bolter DIY works fine to create full web apps because I got, got some comments in my other YouTube videos that I shouldn't show just uh, to-do apps and landing pages. So here you have a full working example, which has some more functionalities and yeah i hope this helps and now let's i want to show you that it's actually built with bolter diy so i have anthropic and cloud sonnet 3.7 here chosen this was my initial prompt after enhancing so i did some three sentences what i want to do and clicked enhance icon here on the bottom and I got this enhanced prompt. Then I did some iteration changes. And yeah, we can scroll down. Yeah, and then we got this state of the application. Okay, yeah. What we now can do together is quickly deploy this app on Netlify because I didn't do anything, just develop it here in bolt.diy and test it out a bit, but it's uh, not deployed anywhere and also not on GitHub. So you have to make sure you are connected. So let's go to the settings, connections, and then make sure GitHub is connected and Netlify connection is there if you want to do both and then you can click here on code, push to GitHub, then do a name. I will call it git sim 
YouTube for now and we push it to GitHub. Uh, you can give an initial commit message. Uh, I will leave it like, like this. Just click OK. And looks like it's done. You can go to the Git repository and verify. Yeah, everything there. So we have now persisted our changes on GitHub so we can develop further in the future. And now we want to deploy it to Netlify as well. So here on the top, since the newest release 007, you can deploy to Netlify in the future also to Vercel and Cloudflare and coming more, I guess, as well. So let's just click deploy to Netlify now. As you can see, it's now working. So it's disabled. And it's done. Deploy successfully here on the bottom right. And we can click view site. And there it is. Our deployed website on this domain you can now use it. It's fully working. Let's, let us, let's try it out quickly here. Yeah, looks everything is fine. Um, yeah, what I will do later is also do a custom domain for this. So I have it on my own domain, probably git sim dot smart code dot DIY. And yeah, I think I showed this in another video how to use custom domains on Netlify or was it Cloudflare? I'm not sure, but if you're interested in this as well, let me know and I can show it in another video. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye.